Hi everybody, this is the Math 30-1 Trig 2 review. This is question 3a. We're supposed to state the restrictions of the variables for the following expressions. Okay, so we're looking at cosine of x plus 1 over the cosine of x minus 1. Now, restrictions are going to come from, from two different places here. They're going to come from the denominator going to 0, okay, but they're also going to come from trig functions that have non-permissibles in them, like tangent has a natural non-permissible set of non-permissibles in it, so does cotangent, secant, and cosecant, okay? Um, there's a group of them that do, so if we see those in there, we have to consider their non-permissibles as well. Now, in this particular case here, that's not an issue. All we're looking for here is we know that the cosine of x minus 1 cannot be allowed to equal 0, which means the cosine of x cannot be allowed to equal positive 1. So now let's just think about that. Where does that occur? Okay, well, think about, uh, let's think about the unit circle because 1 is, on those ex is one of those extreme values for cosine. Okay, cosine goes between negative 1 and 1, so 1 is an extreme value. Let's think about the unit circle. Okay, it's just got a radius of 1, so it's going to have the coordinates 1, 0, 0, 1, negative 1, 0, 0, negative 1, okay? The beautiful thing about the unit circle is that we can associate the x-coordinate with cosine and the y-coordinate with sine, okay, for that angle. And that's, just, that's only if we're looking at the unit circle here. Now, so where does the x-coordinate go to 1? Well, actually, just here, just at the 0 degree mark. So cosine of x cannot be allowed to equal 1 means x cannot be allowed to equal uh, 0. Now, I'm going to state this in degrees. Uh, the question doesn't state whether we should be in degrees or radians, but I'm, I'm, I'll be in degrees because that'll be consistent with the, the first few questions we've looked at. Now, that's, that's great, that's wonderful, and that's true, but that's not enough here. Okay, There are actually a whole infinity of angles that aren't uh, permissible here, so we've got to state those all by creating a, a set of coterminal angles. So x is not allowed to equal 0 degrees plus n times, uh, uh, sorry, I was going to go 180, that's not true. It, it, this repeats 360 degrees, okay? Cosine repeats every 360, so x cannot be allowed to equal 0 plus n times 360, where n is an element of the integers. Now, if you've never seen that before, okay, I, I know that a lot of people use i to refer to integers, um, but at the university level, they're not going to do that. They're going to use z. Okay, The proper symbol for that is this funky little z that we've got going on here. And I might simplify this a little bit more because 0 plus n times 360 is just going to be x cannot equal n times 360 degrees where n is an element of the integers.